Hey guys, I'm trying to get comfortable here a minute. Um, I'm gonna try to find the right motivation to make another video here. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to pick a topic each time I upload. I'm trying to set a goal for myself and upload uh, more frequently for you guys. But um, I wanna talk about the fear of being alone and dealing with anxiety. Now, this is really serious. It's something that I think about all the time, okay? Now, there's all types of different kinds of anxiety. And I want to make a really big video sometime in the near future talking about it. You see other people talking about anxiety and mental health and this and that. Others claim to have anxiety. They're not really sure what anxiety is for them. Um, it's more serious if you have a serious condition of it, which I do. Um, I'm constantly paranoid, constantly checking my heartbeat. I'm constantly dizzy. My equi equilibrium, is that how you say it, is completely off. Now it's something I'm trying to figure out and I would love help out there if you guys deal with what I'm dealing with. Um, so like I said, I deliver Amazon and it's getting harder and harder by the day, it seems like. You know, let me, let me say this. I'll say, I'm dealing with anxiety for probably going to five years now. I'll say, two years ago, I was better than I am now. Three years ago, I'm better than I was two years ago. So it's like each year, it's getting worse and worse. Um, the dizziness, like, I've seen doctors and stuff. I've had brain scans, MRIs, all kinds of crap. I am honestly getting exhausted. This is what I do, you know, when I'm not at work. Here, I'm laying in bed, watching Netflix, messing on my phone, whatever else. It's really hard for me to find motivation to do anything. Like, I literally have no motivation. But I'm trying to make these videos because I think it's important even if a lot of people don't see them, you know, I know some will. And maybe they'll keep getting views over time or something like that. Um, but, uh, back to what I was saying, it's, it's rough. Um, when I drive, it's like, it's, it's this weird kind of off balance feeling. It is when I'm, when I'm driving now, it's harder for me to see at nighttime, which is crazy. I get comfortable, which is crazy. Because a few years ago, I was able to see just fine, you know, in the dark night. I could drive it before in the nighttime. Um, I recently just had an actual eye test because I had to do it for a dot physical or something. And my vision is actually 20 20. I can see, but when I'm moving, let's say, you know, I'm laying in bed, you know. That's why I work in the morning. I go, I leave for work for work about 10, 15 in the morning. I'm, I normally can function better in the morning. So if I'm off and I'm laying around doing nothing really until sometime in the afternoon, I get up and I try to go do something. I'm completely dizzy, completely off balance. I can never really go out. So if I want to do something like I do in the morning, so my whole life has changed. My whole life has ch completely changed with my schedule, what I do. I just eat, gain weight, um, which I have no motivation. Like I wanna try to lose it all, but I'm not sure where to start. Now, to the word this video is supposed to be about, about uh, the fear of being alone forever, basically I'm dealing with anxiety. It's a real thing. Some people are lucky to already have somebody when they're dealing with this. Um, I've actually haven't dated at all since this has happened. Um, I've had, you know, one night stands and this and that, which those are easier to manage or whatever, but uh, I haven't actually connected with somebody and had that real intimacy and, uh, and like love and stuff. I haven't felt love for many, many years. Um, it's a real thing, because I'm 29 years old, 
and I really like I really believe that I'm gonna I'm most likely gonna die alone and it's something I want to change but like I can't meet nobody that's the thing you know can't um because all I do is go to work come home I don't go out anymore because it's hard for me to go out always getting dizzy what if I did date somebody how could I do things with them I'd be complaining all the time you know like the thing is before like, I've always believed this. Before you can love anybody else, you gotta be able to love yourself first. And I can't. I can't do, like, I want to be able to provide. I want to be able to, you know, do fun things, be happy with the person I'm with. I don't smile. I don't have fun. None of this because of anxiety. Before the five years, I lived a normal life. You guys should see my pictures. If you go back and look at my old videos, before the five-year mark, four or five-year mark, you can see big big difference big difference um it's crazy guys i i am afraid to die alone it's a big fear a lot of people deal with um and the thing with online dating i have tried it in this generation online dating is so messed up guys like man i can get on plenty of fish or whatever it is and the only messages I get are from bots, fake accounts. And you always know they're fake accounts. Some of them don't have pictures. Some of, some of them actually has pictures with actual bios and everything. But when they message you first and it's some hot chick in the picture with like half her clothes or something. And she always, she always says like, hey baby, or something with baby in it or whatever. And then you try to play along, and then they always try to redirect you to a site. You know, I've known about bots for many, many years because I'm big on computers. I know, I know how they do that. You know, like one of my talents is computers and anything related to it. And I always call them out on it, and they end up deleting their accounts or something like that. Online dating does not work. As long as I've been on Plenty of Fish, it's, I think it's been over a year or something since I've talked to a real girl and plenty of fish and that's sad like these dating websites has to do something about that and you have to pay to get any results on these sites now before back when I used plenty of fish a long time ago I met people off of it before um, it was actually free like free so it was OkCupid. I met someone on OkCupid many years ago. You gotta pay for all these sites now. Some sites you gotta pay for to be able to see who likes who who. If you, you can be able to pay to message people, get messages like that's stupid. Why why? Like you know, there's other ways you can make money with these websites. Don't be charged so much because I'm not gonna pay a monthly subscription to talk to bots all day like it's not what i'm gonna do so like yeah i don't meet nobody I'm, I'm afraid to go out i don't go out at night i don't live in the city while i work in the city this, and especially with covid you like you gotta wear a mask everywhere you go and the big thing is you make yourself unattractive that's the thing my anxiety and depression got so bad i would just eat and not care about myself and my health this and this and that and I just let my, I just let my body go, you know? Like I actually looked good before. I was able to pull girls before easy. I used to go to the club before. I remember I had like danced with like 10 girls in one night before. And that's not bragging. That was actually my record in one night in the club. But like, I actually had some type of game then. Now, I don't even try because I'm afraid to. Like, cause I know I gain weight. I do a picture by picture comparison from then to that. Now, there's a picture I met with a girl at a club and took a picture together. I look completely different. I was able to fit into my dress clothes and everything. Can't fit into that stuff now. You know, I'm just needing tips. Uh, like, it's this channel is really me talking about my experiences, letting a lot of you guys know that you're not alone because uh, some of my videos has gotten popular people dealing with similar situations yeah make sure to drop a like on this video comment on this video letting me letting me know what you go through 
And if you feel any of the same things I've been talking about, I will definitely be uploading again here soon for you guys. Uh, let me know the topic you wanted me to talk about or if you want me to do a live here soon. I'm, I'll go live if you want to join in actually. Definitely subscribe if you're new here. I will keep posting. I will try to keep posting each week, a few times a week. I'm going to try to get to a few times a week. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.